most people who are involved in their own situations, like my business female friend, she was married. She had children, and I too was betrothed, sp had a spouse and a son, and was in the middle of things. So it really wasn't the perfect timing for an affair of any kind, and it would have been immoral for me to do one. It didn't mean that I didn't understand what was happening within me, but it did mean that I was man enough, mature enough, seasoned enough in relationships, and caring enough about everyone around me that was immediately impacted by any decision I might make to change the dynamic of the relationship, that it wasn't right to do it. I had to hold on to that love and put it in the purest form from God, that I can unconditionally love you, but I don't have to have everything from you. And that is something I was already doing with my own spouse because of how we are and who we were together. But the truth is that God had a plan for me and God had a plan for my spouse and glad God had a plan for the one that I now truly love. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth about situations and too many people fall off their own sexual wagons by getting involved with people that aren't right for them. They think that the chemistry that they have is going to last a lifetime, and that's not true. True chemistry is between the ears. True chemistry is in the heart. True chemistry is found in the soul. And true chemistry considers what will happen, where will this go, and how will it impact my life, my family, my children, my future, my retirement. That is the maturity of a man. Most men won't think that far. They lead with their pants. And we see that every day in the streets of 20-year-olds and 16-year-olds who run around with their britches falling down like their 5-year-olds. And that's immoral.